Hello, and welcome back to the round of 32. For today's bout, we have Ghislain Perrier of Brazil versus Majan Fei of China. Perrier is originally a French fencer, but Brazil imported him to fill out their men's foil squad for Rio. Ma was ranked 3 in the world at the time, and the heavy favorite to win. If you want to learn more, links to their Who's Who videos are in the description, along with links to the commentated bout itself. Alright, time for the analysis. This was nearly another Brazilian upset in the round of 32, very similar to Ota vs. Toldo, but this time, the upset was averted. Somehow. This bout was a strange one. So, right off the bat, Perrier took a 6-0 lead, mostly with counterattacks. How was he able to? Well, first of all, Ma had a pretty strange-looking attack himself. He would march really withheld in either 6 or 8, that's pretty standard, but when it came time to finish, he would accelerate really slowly. That's not to say he was moving slowly, at least not by the very end, but it would take him a really long advance or two to get up to that speed. Second, he seemed fixated on hitting around behind Perrier's front shoulder, a tricky target at the best of times, but nearly impossible when Perrier displaced his target with a counterattack. I'm not too familiar with Ma's fencing, but it looked like he was way off his game here. Then again, Ma didn't seem particularly flustered by the situation. He just switched foils, giving him a bit of a break in the action, and when the fencing resumed, he started turning lights on and pulling the score back. But he didn't actually change anything visible about his fencing, except perhaps moving a bit more. He kept using the same attack as before, but now it was actually just hitting. We reached a situation where every phrase became practically identical. Perrier would push, trying to get more space on the strip to set up a counterattack, and just end his attack without trying to hit. Then Ma would start his really withheld march. At some point, he would finish with his slow accelerating but very long distance attack. Perrier would either get hit at his end of the strip, or get away, and then push back up the strip, and so on. Sometimes Perrier would counterattack, but after those first few touches, this situation favored Ma a bit. Ma still had trouble hitting that far outside line, but more often than not he would go off target, and Perrier's counterattack would not have right of way, so I guess Ma just felt safe doing it. As I said, this bout was bizarre. My best guess is that both fencers were happy with how the bout was progressing, and therefore had no reason to change tactics at all. That shows a lot of confidence on Ma's part, as he was down in score for almost the whole bout. But whatever his secret is, Ma managed to turn the bout around and win with a score of 15-14. to 14. He went on to face his Chinese teammate, Chen Haiwei, in the round of 16. Thanks for watching, check out the commentary linked in the description, and feel free to discuss this bout in the comments. Next up will be Peter Jopik vs Enzo Lafour. I'm really looking forward to doing that one. So, until next time, stay sharp.